Hi, my name is Dominic and I'm one of the developers of the Upscaling for Unity Assets. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to integrate our Upscaling Assets into Unity. These first few steps will be more or less the same no matter which upscaler you're using or which render pipeline. At the end of the video, I will go over specific differences, if any, for the upscaling assets in the built-in render pipeline, universal and the high definition render pipelines. The first step, as always, will be to import the upscaler assets from the package manager or the Unity Asset Store. And right away, you may notice that you'll import two packages. One will be the specific upscaler like FSR3 or DLSS. The second one is our brand new upscaler framework, which will make using multiple upscalers a lot easier. After all files have been imported, simply add our TND upscaler component to your main camera. Now, there is just one more very important step. Integrating an upscaler into Unity is rather difficult and there are a lot of edge cases that can break the upscaler or make the effects look rather ugly. Our upscaler framework has been specifically designed to notify you of all the steps needed to make things work and look great. So when you first add the component to your camera, it will probably show you a bunch of warnings and possibly even errors that should be addressed. Most of these are easily fixed with just the press of a button. When all the warnings have been fixed, on the TND Upscaler component, you'll see a range of options. Use the Upscalers by priority to create a fallback list of all the upscalers you want to use. If a certain upscaler is not supported on the platform or not working for a specific hardware, our framework will automatically fall back to the next one in the list. Now, the quality mode is very important. It specifies the amount of down and upscaling you're using. The lower you set this, the more performance you will probably gain. And if you think the upscaling result are a little bit too soft, you can always use our sharpening filter to sharpen it up. Now all additional and more advanced features are fully explained in our extensive documentation. So if you're looking for any kind of information, you'll find it here. On to the render pipeline specifics. Our upscaling framework will work out of the box on the built-in render pipeline. However, due to a hard limitation in Unity, it will inject the upscaled results in a less than optimal time during rendering. This means that potentially other post-processing effects could get visual artifacts. Now to remedy this, we have created a custom version of Unity's post-processing stack version 2. If you are already using Unity's version, then it's just a simple drop-in replacement. I've put the link to the download page in the description down below. Well, here I am using Unity's post-processing stack version 2 without our custom version and I'm using grain. But as you can see, there's hardly any grain in the scene. Also, it seems that the depth of field is quite jittery. When I disable the upscaler, you see there's a lot of grain. Now, when I enable the upscaler component, almost all the grain disappears. And this is because without our custom post-processing stack version two, the injection method of upscalers is less than ideal. And now I change the post-processing stack to our custom version. And as you can see, the grain now works very well. Please note that we highly suggest using our upscalers combined with our custom post-processing stack for the best possible visual fidelity. But you can try out both and find out what your preference is. Our framework will also work out of the box with the universal render pipeline. However, there are a few things to note. While the setup makes sure that our render feature is added to the active URP render pipeline asset file, we don't know if you change it during runtime. So if you do change between render pipeline asset files, please make sure that you add our upscaling render feature to all of them. Lastly, HDRP. Now, for everyone who has been using our upscalers in the past, we have great news. Our upscaling framework no longer needs any source edits. Simply follow the quick setup and you're all done. As with everything in software development, I'm sure some of you will run into issues. And for this, I am more than happy to assist you. In most cases, a quick screen share call will fix all your upscaling issues. So if you are in need of help, join our Discord or write me an email, links down below, and I'll help you as fast as possible most often within a few hours. All right, that's it. I hope this video has been useful for integrating our upscaling assets into your project. And if you need any help, you know where to find me. See ya.